Hey YouTube, here's another edition of Cast Iron Savvy. Here's our email address. If you have any questions or comments, send them to castironsavvy at gmail.com. And hit the subscribe button below to keep updated on any new editions. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Wagner Pi logo skillets. I just got this one cleaned up. It was really rusty when I when I got it, and I've been working on and off for about a week uh, trying to get it clean, and it turned out pretty nice. This is the 14, of course. Still got a lot of original milling marks in the bottom of it. nice looking skillet it has the what I call the finger loop assist there Wagner stuck with that finger loop assist and for whatever reason Griswold um, around 19 between 1912 and 1915 somewhere in there they they abandoned the finger loop assist in favor of the tab assist and if I have a, if I had a tab assist skillet real quick here, I'll show you what that looked like. But anyway, it doesn't have these cutouts, it's just solid. And that's considered the tab assist, and this is the finger loop assist. Anyway, this is part of the Pi Logo series. And the Pi Logo just refers to this baseball diamond shape around the stylized logo. They all have four digit pattern numbers starting with 1052 going through 1064. They were made in sizes 2 through 14 and they all have this cast iron skillet um, writing at the bottom here which is, uh, which is unique to the Pi Logo series set. None of the other Wagnerware skillets actually say cast iron skillet on them. And I think, you know, Wagner Wagner was really, um, you know, they were really conscious of, you know, the manufacturing processes and, and you know, they, they were all after su simplicity. So they felt like, you know, this having this writing on here, cast iron skillet, probably wasn't necessary. And this... Um, this little line around here probably wasn't necessary either. So in later in later skillets, all you'll find is this is what they consider the stylized logo um, without this baseball diamond or pie shape um, border and the catalog number. Very simplistic in in their later designs. So I was looking here. Here's the blue book. And it says the Wagner Pi Logo skillets made in sizes 2 through 14, Sierra 1915 through 1920. So if we go to the original 1915 catalog, and you can see here that they, by 1915, they start incorporating the stylized logo. They do not list sizes 2, 3, and 4, or sizes 13, 14. The only skillets were available in this catalog was sizes 5 through 12 of the regular skillets. So, we're pretty sure that it wasn't, the Pi Logo series wasn't made in 1915. So let's jump forward to the 1924 catalog. The 1924 catalog is where we start seeing the catalog numbers incorporated. All right, and here they do list the 1052 through 1064, referencing size numbers 2 through 14. So 
we're pretty sure that these Pi Logo series skillets were made closer to 1924 than they were in than they are in 1915. We don't know exactly when they were produced, but going from the information in the original catalogs, the 1915 catalog does not incorporate the four-digit pattern number or a catalog number and only shows sizes 5 through 12. We know that the Pi Logo series was made in sizes 2 through 14, and we have to go all the way to the 1924 catalog in order to find a series of skillets that match that size range and also incorporate the four-digit catalog number. So, very interesting. There's just a little bit of inconsistency between the information here in the blue book as far as the dates and what is shown in the original catalogs. So, that's it for this episode of Cast Iron Savvy. Send us some ideas for future episodes. Uh, questions or comments to castironsavvy at gmail.com and hit the subscribe button below. Until next time, happy collecting.